Ben, it was a defeat tonight, but it was a gallant effort in the end. Yeah, really proud of the boys. They, um, yeah, second half thought was just very sensational. Completely stuck to the game plan. One goal disallowed. Um, obviously, being down to ten was really difficult as well. But I just can't fault them. They were absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, all just super proud of the boys. I suppose rolling back to the start, it's also important to um, remember that there's several players not playing because. Um, they have to play for their uh, scholar teams as well. Yeah, I mean, it evens itself out. The Phoenix boys, they had six or seven who, who were missing as well from, you know, play for Dartford and those lot. Um, so it evened itself out. I just said how close the game it was, the fact we've got 20, 23, 24 boys who are, who are really capable and really pushing themselves to put in really good performances. And and yeah, so oh, the grand, grand scheme of things, in the end, I think it was a fair result, but, but it was a, a nice even, even game, and I think that's really positive for us going forward. First half, um, Sheppy had someone sent off um, near the end of the um, 45. Was it sending off in your view? Yeah, yeah, it's just two silly yellow cards and you can see him starting to build up the, the last, when we conceded that goal, it got a little bit fiery and you know, some of the boys got a little bit over, over emotional with things and it, it, you, could, you could see it starting to happen and he's learnt from it and he knows it and he's, he's absolutely gutted and he's distraught, he's done. So, you now he came over, he's apologised to the boys, um, but no, they're a really close-knit bunch, so no doubt he'll learn from it and he'll be good to go again when he's back from however long his suspension is. What did you and Ross say to the boys at half time because they come out like a train second half and to be fair they were probably the better team. Yeah a little bit of good cop bad cop I think um, obviously Ross has known these boys for, for years and years so I think it was a bit more you know, a couple of home truths kind of reminded them that you know their parents are here for it and it's a big occasion and you know you don't just go down to 10 men don't want to go out about a fight and no, they really committed to that and yeah other than that it was just remind them of the game plan be, be really aggressive be on the front foot um, you know transition really quickly and we lose it can we get back into shape get pressure on the ball and I thought considering we were down to 10 I thought they did it absolutely brilliantly you, you wouldn't have looked at that game and, and seen the 11 v 10 it looked really even we matched them all over the place and that's you know it's really impressive. A one nil down um, Sheppy had a free kick Scored direct, directly from it, but it was then um, ruled out um, due to an infringement in the wall. In the wall, was that a fair call? <laughs> it's not a call I've, I've seen very often at this level. <laughs> you know, I guess it's it is very good refereeing, but it's frustrating because it's not something you see given very often. Um, I wonder whether he could have asked the player to move before the kick was taken, but but it's what it is. It was a brilliant free kick, but but yeah, it was it was a it was a foul. So. Well, it was an infringement. And then Sheppy go 2 0 down due to a penalty. And it, you know, it's easy for the heads to drop then, but um, carry on attacking, and finally um, we get rewarded by pulling the goal back. Yeah, um, yeah, complete credit to their kind of character. I think they responded from that brilliantly because that, that hits hard, you know, down to 10 men and conceding another goal. But. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice goal as well from a set piece. We've been really effective from them all season, um, and it's nice for the for one of the new lads to to score as well to really really welcome into the squad. So, yeah, I thought the response was excellent. It was exactly what we needed. Um, I, I wasn't expecting it to be honest. I thought it really surprised me of how well they they came out firing at two 0 down because you know they're, they're young kids. For, for a lot of our team are, are first years. In fact, most of the, pretty much all the team that were on the pitch for that second half were. You know, really, 16 years old, and, and that kind of response from from those young men was you know, really impressive. So, what's next for the under 18s? Uh, home game on Sunday against uh, Ashford, um, who we beat in the last round of the FA Cup. So that'd be another interesting one. I know they had quite a few players missing um, as well for that FA Cup game, so it's still a little bit of the unknown. We get to welcome back, you know, five or six players, which which will be very helpful for us, but it gets difficult for us now. We've got to start selecting a 16-man squad from, from, you know, from 20 players, and you know, we have, might have a couple that step into 23s over, over the course of the week as well. So, yeah, I guess it's trying to make the make the big decisions now, which is Ross's problem, not mine. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Cheers.